Uh, hi everyone, so uh, I'm actually here. I, I haven't been making a lot of videos actually. Uh, I just like, you know, uploaded quite a number of my old uh, travel videos and uh, yeah, those videos when I was actually in uh, Tbilisi, Georgia and Armenia and not mean, yeah, I, I uploaded the Armenian videos but I didn't really upload, up, upload the ones in uh, Tbilisi, Georgia and the rest because uh, I think during a time when I came back from Armenia, I started having a bit of a fibroid throat infection and then I, I got so distracted by many other things and then I when I went to Korea, I focused on uh, uploading the Korean videos instead and yeah, today I'm just going to talk about something else that uh, I promised to say something about this and I'm actually going to keep on talking a lot more about this. You know, it's kind of funny because now that I can't think about it, um, the this is something that I realized. I mentioned this in my community uh, post that I noticed that despite my the fact that I have not had a lot of encounters with female narcissists I realized that a number of this so-called female narcissists they let's just get this clear I'm not diagnosing them but they are very highly narcissistic and they actually have a tendency to go off on certain rants and certain things and personal attacks of people whom they barely know and I realized that there's a con kind of confluence or it, it kind of overlaps being a so-called radical feminist and being a narcissist, they definitely overlap, okay? Uh, because this is actually their so-called agenda or their so-called, um, how should I say? Their vernier, yes. It's, a, it's what we, we know now. Now it's a, you know, this thing called virtue signaling. You have to signal that you are a good person so that people will believe you. Uh, and uh, really, who, who really cares? You are terrible, you're terrible. And... A lot of these uh, people, they don't just attack people and make false accusations. They also try to claim that they are very good, they are very this, they are very that. And yeah, it's quite amazing because now that I kind of think about it, a lot of these people, you know, like um, I've been talking a lot about this. We they were kind of, I'm very, very, really happy to know that because uh, recently I came across this video by this uh, guy who was used by the alias of Froggy Frog. I'm not sure who he is, uh, but from what I get, he's uh, this guy comes from a scientific background. So he was actually coming out with an analysis of uh, Nat Pocho. The very interesting case of Nat Pocho, whom, as I said, is definitely very narcissistic if she's not a narcissist. And he claimed that she was a schizoid cere cerebral narcissist. Okay, I'll tell you one thing. Uh, I, I, I was reading through the comments and, and it's kind of funny because I wasn't the only one who said, oh no, now now people are getting to know who she is because I've said many times, she is very crazy, okay? She makes false accusations of people being obsessed with her. Have you, have you looked in the mirror? You look like a fucking frog, okay? You look like a frog, yeah, you look like a freaking frog. And and, and she, she goes around smoking in front of the, you know, the camera and... Then, you know one thing I, I can say very honestly, I hate to actually judge people. I'm not supposed to judge people, but this is one of the major red flags about women. You know, when they smoke in front of the camera or they smoke in public, I don't know, oh, I don't want to go near them because why? I don't smoke. You know, my, my male buddies, they don't smoke. Uh, majority of them don't smoke. I mean, one or two smoke, but uh, if they are smoking, I'll just try to get away. I'll make it very clear because uh, I don't I don't have inhaled any secondhand smoke. I don't want to die. Yes, I don't want to die from inhaling your, your, your smoke. And you're being very selfish to smoke in front of me because I inhale more than more than you. Okay. And she was doing it in front of the camera screen. It shows that you know one thing with women who do that? When they smoke, okay, this is gonna make some people hate me a lot for saying that. It doesn't matter with women or men. Okay, even men too. When you smoke, okay. The, the fact that you do that shows that every time you know you have a so-called crisis or whatever you feel stress you go and turn to smoking and for some they even do, do things like uh harming themselves they they they, they do some all this and then uh, they have all the scars and what next do they do they go and uh do tattoos around it to so-called hide the fact that they are scars i mean this is fine this is your own issue but the fact that you have all this trauma and instead of addressing a trauma and finding a therapist to help you go through it so that you don't go and do those stupid things you actually keep you keep on directing and projecting them to other people this is a very very serious red flag okay so i'm very happy that people are kind of exposing this kind of uh, people this narcissist or this toxic people because honestly she's creepy she's not just the ludo she's creepy uh someone was saying that uh he actually met her on the one those called, called fan meets or those people who follow the channel but realized that 
nobody else was there in Miami except for him and her and then I was like oh we did it I said how was it um and he said it was horrible it was she was very creepy and she was going around bashing men yeah okay feminists like her are really toxic okay I mean I have had friends who are feminists uh, one, one or two friends and uh, my, my advisor back in my PhD was this is feminist but it's fine because they don't they don't take it on other people but that that's the kind of you know that kind of feminist who is more for equality she's not for equality not poche is not for equality she's about vengeance vengeance against all men so she basically hates all men you know until she can prove that she is basically a fair person which I don't think she is because she goes around uh, smearing campaign uh, got this smear campaign against different people she even called think about it, she called Dave from Narcology unscripted a narcissist when there's no proof she does that to everyone she does uh, Dr. Ramani Lisa Romano uh, Melintonia Mel Evans who is actually very uh, established right now in uh, the committee of narcissistic abuse it just shows you one thing Narcissists don't want you to recover and you know all her content is not about it's just a like tra trauma dumping Okay, this is the one thing other than feminism being one thing that coincides a lot with narcissism I've, I realized that the tendency to do trauma dumping, you know trauma dumping is this men are bad, men are this, men are uh, efforts or whatever, you know all those different things And then uh, those who reject me must be gay and all this, this is what she said and, and it's so ridiculous, it seems more narcissistic to trauma dump because uh, we know that in uh, when we meet someone who is new, you know, you're always told, don't don't tell them your trauma or whatever because they can use it against you. But she doesn't do that. She she's always dumping her trauma. Everyone, she's complaining. Okay, so and she doesn't give anyone any any tips as to what to do to 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 get away or to recover. No one, no one. She tells no one. In fact, I think all her life she started ignoring the, the man. Or I realized this. That is why a lot of men are actually leaving her. her, her unsubscri I'm subscribing for her feed because she's extremely toxic. And she's like a radical, uh, man hating feminist. She's not just feminist, she's a Miss Andrews. Okay. So, anyway, uh, I'm off and uh, I'm going to do something else. And um, I'll come back a little bit later to talk about some things out, something else. And yeah, just, you know, try to avoid people who are just cranky feminists, uh, cranky man hating feminists. And also,